Socialism is not only accepted, socialism once whispered about is now being promoted from the highest levels of our government. No. You like Venezuela? Do you like Venezuela? Ever been there? Ever wanted to vacation there? No? Well, get ready. Because if the progressive Dems have their way, socialism will be as alive and well here in America as it is in Venezuela. A place once sitting on more oil than any other country in the world, which after years of government overspending and welfare programs with open borders, is now a perfect example of how socialism can ruin a nation. Now, the rise of socialism has never been clearer. Right now in America, there are forces dug in, organized and well-funded to do whatever necessary to make socialism happen. You've seen the slow crawl yourself. In 2016, Bernie Sanders ran as a Democrat socialist. We all went, oh, no. But four years later, we found ourselves in a country inundated with DAs and prosecutors funded by the Democrat Socialists of America, the George Soros types, who were more concerned with the criminal than the victim. AOC made a name for herself with the Green New Deal, pushing hard for the socialist agenda contained in the $3.5 trillion human infrastructure bill, human added to emotionally tie you in and hide the fact that not all the money is going for roads and bridges. This $3.5 trillion alleged Build Back Better bill, when added to the trillions already been spent on the pandemic, will literally put us at the highest level of debt America has ever reached and break our bank. No worries, though. Joe Biden says it will cost zero. We talk about price tags. The, it is zero <laughs> price tag on the debt. I wouldn't rely on Joe Biden's math for anything, but no worries. Joe Biden says there is nothing radical in this bill. There's nothing in any of these pieces of legislation that's radical, that is unreasonable. For the first time, Biden is telling the truth. It is not radical because in his mind and in any socialist mind, these proposals are key elements of the socialist gospel. Joe Biden, who ran as a moderate, is really a socialist. Won't you strip away that Trojan horse he rode in on? Now, the bill includes free community college for illegal immigrants. So in addition to medication, housing, health care and education in grades K through 12, illegals will have a free two year college education. Seventy nine billion dollars for enhanced IRS enforcement to conduct more audits. Biden argues it will close the tax gap for the amount of uncollected revenue and raise funds for the White House's sweeping spending plan. Twelve billion dollars for government electric cars. Now, this should make Hunter Biden and the Chinese happy because we purchased lithium batteries from China. And there's three billion dollars for tree equity. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. Twenty five million for bias training, as if political correctness and cancel culture haven't taught us enough about what is tolerated in this woke country. There's four billion dollars for distance learning. Isn't that special? The schools have gotten billions, money over and over again for the purchase of equipment and the improvement of classes. Does someone in the Biden crime family have a contract with a computer company? And by the way, has anyone seen Hunter? Then there's two billion to support a civilian climate corps who will probably have more police power than police officers in your town, village or city. Now, don't forget, a little known socialist from Vermont, Bernie Sanders, would have been the Democratic candidate for president in 2016, but for Hillary Clinton's corruption of the Democrat National Committee. And he would have been in 2020 were it not for James Clyburn pushing Joe Biden. Socialists have been winning elections at the state and national level, defeating even long term incumbents since 2016. Socialism is not only accepted, socialism once whispered about is now being promoted from the highest levels of our government. So back to Venezuela. You probably won't like it there. For those of you who need reminding, 
Socialism doesn't work. Socialists want what you and I have. We work hard, pay taxes, and believe in capitalism. None of us is planning to move to a socialist state. And if you're even thinking of socialism and you want to visit Venezuela ahead of time, be aware that the risk of mugging, carjacking, kidnapping, and torture is commonplace. Nothing strikes more fear among Venezuelans than seeing this special action force, or FIES, on patrol in low-income neighborhoods. Armed with assault rifles and with their identity hidden, this elite police force, originally formed to fight crime, has become synonymous with extrajudicial executions. And that's my open.